another episode of Plant Based Dads. All right, so today we're going to try something a little different. I'm going to go in this store right here behind me and see what I can find that's vegan that we can make on a budget. It's our new Vegan on a Budget series. Let's see what they got. All right, first we're going to hit some uh, sriracha. Then we're going to grab some uh, cans of pinto beans. These look good. Next is on to some brown rice, brown jasmine rice. We're going to grab a bag of romaine hearts. Here we have some uh, little bags of garlic. All right, we got a bag of limes here. We'll take that. And what they call a large avocado. Looks just like an avocado to me. Oh, some chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. Yes, please. All right, I think I've gotten everything I can out of here. Um, couldn't get the frozen corn. Let's head to the register. All right, guys, so the bill came out to $10 even for all that stuff I got. So let's get home. We'll lay it all on the counter, and let's see what we can make of this. How many meals can we get for $10? So one of the things I get asked a lot is, how do you afford fresh, uh, you know, whole foods without spending a lot of money? So we're starting a new series here called uh, Vegan on a Budget. Everything we make is going to be whole food plant-based. Not only vegan, but it has to be healthy, all right? All right, so in part one of this series, which is what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna make a salad with a salad dressing that's not oil-based, right? It'll be a uh, cashew-based dressing, and uh, it's gonna be fantastic, all right? So we're gonna start with that, and let's see what happens. So I'm gonna grab my lettuce first. Right? I've got my salad spinner here, right? I love this thing, I've had this for years. I put the lettuce, I chop it up and put it right in this bowl, right? And that's what I use to kind of go to the sink with, right? and wash it all up, right? So we're gonna chop the lettuce up first. The first thing I do is chop the very end off of the romaine, and then I slice it the long way here, all right? And then I just start chopping here, right? That's it, I'm gonna go all the way down until I'm done with this here. And I take this and right in my salad spinner right here, okay? That's one head right there, I'm gonna go to the next one. All right, so I've got my romaine lettuce here. The next thing I'm gonna do is get it over to the sink. I'm gonna spray some uh, fruit and veggie wash on it, some plant-based fruit and veggie wash. Um, clean it all up, make sure it's uh, you know nice and rinsed off, and then I'm gonna throw it in this salad spinner and spin it dry. So let's go get it washed. So the lettuce, it's ready to go. Let's continue on with the salad. We've got some red onions right here, so let's chop up one of these. So I just cut the ends off, and then I slice down in the middle, and then I just grab down to the first layer, and I peel the first layer off. Now I'm just gonna make some slices, all right? All right, so we've got our onions all uh, sliced up here into little half slices, and they're ready and prepped to go. So the other ingredients of the salad are the beans, which I'm gonna get cooking here on the pot. Let's open this up. So I gotta drain this one, and I gotta drain this one here. All right, so let's get, go ahead and start the uh, salad dressing. The salad dressing is cashew-based. I've taken uh, a half a cup of cashews, which is four ounces, and I've soaked them in filtered water for about an hour or two, just to make them soft so we can blend them up in the blender. The cashews I didn't buy at the dollar store. I got them at Sprouts last week. If you saw the video about the Sprouts haul, they were $5.99, so let's say $6 a pound. Four ounces is a quarter of a pound. So this is about $1.50 worth of cashews. I'm gonna go straighten this out. All right, so we're gonna get our dressing ready. I'm gonna make it in the Vitamix. I've got uh, this little dressing attachment. I'm switching to my reading glasses, so hang on. All right, the first thing we're gonna do here is pop in our uh, cashews here, right? The next thing we're gonna do here is we're going to add uh, two and a half tablespoons of lime juice. So I've got some limes right here. Don't use like the roses lime juice, use fresh limes because that's got sugar in it and other stuff. These are just Whole Foods limes, that's it. So let's see how much we get out of each one. So I've got some, I just have the limes, I'm just gonna squeeze them into this container so I can measure the tablespoons out. So that's one lime right there. So we need two and a half tablespoons. So let's see, this is one right here. This is two, and we've got a, about a half a tablespoon left. So that's perfect. All right, so the next ingredient for this is three tablespoons of water. I'm done with this. Three tablespoons. One, two, 
three. All right, that's my water right there. Next is one garlic clove. I can tell you right now, I'm Italian. I'm not putting one clove of garlic in anything, so. All right, so we've got one clove of garlic right there. We've got one more, even though it says only one, I'm still putting in three, because that's the way we roll here. And one more. The next thing we need here is a chipotle chili from a can of chipotle chili peppers. So we're gonna open this can up. The peppers are all different sizes. It really does depend on what size the one you get is. I don't want anything too crazy. Like that one right there is fine. All right, we're also gonna use a teaspoon of the sauce here, all right, into this can. The sauce just gives it kind of a, a creaminess. All right, so my next ingredient is just a little bit of sea salt, all right? Uh, at this point, we're putting in a half a teaspoon. I don't like to cook with salt. I leave it out when I can. I've left it out of this, and it is a big difference. So I'm gonna put it in. It just, it's a half a teaspoon, and this will make quite a, bit, quite a few servings. So a half of that. All right, so, so that's the ingredients for the sauce. So next, we're gonna get it together and throw it on the blender here. All right, so you can see we've got a nice, beautiful, creamy Chipotle ranch dressing. I'm gonna switch back to my uh, regular glasses here. All right, let's give this a taste and see what it tastes like. Wow, it's really good. I'm gonna have a little bit of my uh, Berkey water. I could not have eaten this with a second Chipotle pepper though. It would've been way too spicy. So our dressing's ready. So we can kind of assemble our salad now. I've got uh, a nice salad bowl here. I'm gonna take a pair of tongs and dish out some lettuce. And I didn't even make a dent in that lettuce. There's a lot of lettuce left, all right? I'm gonna sprinkle on some onions here. All right, let's cut up our avocado. With avocados, you really never know what you're getting. And this one is really nice, so I'm pretty impressed there. Perfect, very nice. There's a half an avocado right here, so I'm gonna cut that in half. I'm gonna save this for my uh, my beans and rice when I make that, all right? And then for the salad, I'm just gonna slice this up here. I've got my avocado slices right here. So I'm gonna take some of my beans that I just cooked. I wanna put a half a cup and kind of put them right on the salad. All right, let's give this salad a taste and see what we have. All right, we got a little bit of avocado on there. I'll make sure I get that on my fork. Some lettuce, some onion, and I need some of those beans. Right there. Oh yeah, that is absolutely delicious. Wow. That's, that dressing is so good. It is a little spicy. Not spicy enough to like heat you up, but there's a kick to it. So, so good guys. Absolutely delicious. One of my favorite meals. All right, here's the beauty of this, okay? There's a lot of salad left. So we're getting way more than one meal out of this for our money, right? I've got some mason jar uh, salad uh, holders here. Two different kinds. This one, you just kind of pop this in here, put your pieces together, throw it on. This one here, you put your dressing into the lid and then you screw it together. Either way, the same thing's happening. So I'm gonna take some of my uh, salad here, my lettuce, and start building these mason jar salads. And these will be my meals for the week. So in each one of these, I'm gonna put my, uh, my onions on the top, right? So the avocado, I'm gonna keep separate. Uh, we'll put it in uh, a little reusable container and I'll just stick it right on top of this in the refrigerator so when I grab this, I know to grab the avocado too because if the avocado starts turning color before I get to this, I don't want it in the salad, right? I'll still want the salad, but I don't want it with the, uh, you know, with the brown avocado in it, right? Now, another thing on this is when I was buying this stuff at the 99 cent store, I like corn in my salad. So I tried to get uh, some frozen corn and they didn't have any. 
Had they had that, I would have spent a dollar on that, got the frozen corn, heated it up, and threw it in right into the salad. But there, All right, so I'm gonna put some dressing in these little containers here. And we'll just add some beans right on top of here. Okay, we'll just stick these dressings right in here. All right, so you can see we're pushing these down, so there's a lot of salad packed into each one of these. Mason jar salads, you gotta love it. All right guys, so there you have it. The first part of our Vegan on a Budget series, the uh, Southwest salad with the uh, Chipotle Ranch dressing. And not only did we do a Southwest salad, we did food prep for the week. Bonus points for that, right? So we've got two salads to take to work. At the end of the second part of this, where we make the food for this that we, we did with beans and rice, I'll give you the breakdown for all the meals we did together. Listen, if you like the video, please, Click the like button, what's not to like? I know I always say that. Um, please subscribe to the channel so we can continue to bring you uh, more videos like this. Uh, please leave a comment. Do you do uh, mason jar salads? I love how handy and convenient these are. What's your favorite bargain contest meal? Um, vegan on a budget, not so scary after all, is it? All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Grandma, Grandma, my dad is saying something about being on a budget. Do you know what that means? I don't know what that means, but I'm scared.